How we doing, flappers? Yay! Uh, side note, after my show, uh, if you'd like to brush my beard, you can do that. It's free tonight only, you guys. Yes. <laughs> Hells yeah. If you're on, uh, I'm on OnlyFans, but I'm honestly, I'm on Only Follicles. That's the real one, you guys. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can brush me. Normally a $15 value, but for you guys, free. Tonight only. How about that, you guys? Yeah. That's, I'm dressed like if Tommy Bahama converted to Islam, you guys, which is... <laughs> I'm dressed like turmeric burqa. What up, you guys? I do have a beard. Are we a fan of my beard here? Are we feeling it? Yeah. Flowing with it? Cool, because my family hates the fucking beard, you guys. Yeah. My cousins, literally. I've, I've performed in Alabama, and, like, nobody called me a terrorist. Everybody was cool. I fly back from Alabama. I visit my cousins, and the first thing they say is, Pratik, you look like the leader of ISIS. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> You know who's calling me a terrorist? My own family, you guys, yeah. And I'm not even mad that they're calling me a terrorist. I'm mad that they're comparing this beautiful work of art beard to the ISIS beards, yeah. Because honestly, the ISIS beards, if you've seen them, they fucking suck, all right? That's why they're terrorists. They're mad about their patchy, faulty facial hair, all right? Meanwhile, I'm genetically blessed, all right? I have big beard energy, okay? They asked me, Pratik, does the carpet match the drapes? In my case, the carpet is the drapes, okay? <laughs> I take off my glasses, my celebrity doppelganger is racially accurate Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let that marinate for a second, flappers at midnight. Racially accurate Jesus Christ. And if you don't like that joke, I forgive you. What up? <laughs> yeah. You like that maneuver? I spent $8,000 in improv classes for one maneuver. I call that Soldier Boy's a figure skater. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dropping Soldier Boy references in 2023. What up? I was on NPR for 30 seconds. I took the Greyhound bus here, yeah! I look like Jafar, but I sound like Iago the parrot. It's fucked up. It's wild, you guys. Dude, I've been traveling a lot. I fly Southwest Airlines. Hold your applause! I have the Southwest credit card. Wet those panties, ladies, yeah! We're talking 56,000 miles of canceled flights, yeah! If you know about Southwest, they do not assign you a seat on Southwest, right? You're literally, it's like Lord of the Flies in the skies, all right? Do you know how many failed SoundCloud rappers I've elbowed in the neck for a free seat? That's what I have to do, and sometimes I don't get a seat, and I have to fly on the airplane wing with the Twilight Zone monster, all right? It's just me and him, and the Twilight Zone monster's like, hey, Pratik, what's with that fucking beard, hey? I'm the Twilight Zone monster, 23 Skadoo, Pratik, hey! Why do you look like homeless Kumail Nanjiani, Pratik, ah! And I have to be like, hey, I'm not homeless Kumail Nanjiani, I'm post-apocalyptic Aziz Ansari, all right? <laughs> Get it right, Twilight Zone monster! I have, uh, I have family members that are annoying. Clap it up if you have family members that annoy you. And if you're not clapping, you are that annoying family member. That's what that is. These people know. I appreciate you. Dude, I have these two cousins, Darvesh and Pravesh. They're like Bebop and Rocksteady of brown people. I hate them, you guys. They think they're so cool. They got their medical degree from the Caribbean islands. Get the fuck out of here, all right? You're not a real doctor if you got your medical degree from Cool Runnings University. No one likes you. That's like getting your business degree from Trump University, all right? It fucking sucks, all right? Dude, they came home one day with samosas. Clap it up if you know what samosas are. You know what samosas are? They bring home these samosas. They, they collapse into my beard, you guys, all right? My beard looks like a pine cone. It's disgusting, all right? And I ask them, where did you get these faulty samosas from? And they say, oh, they're from this Indian restaurant called Gandhi's Palace. <laughs> what? There are Indian restaurants named after Mahatma Gandhi? He was on a hunger strike. He knows nothing about food. <laughs> It's like going to a strip club named after Mother Teresa. What the fuck? 
I will be performing at Mother Teresa's Palace next week, you guys, all right? All right, come brush the beard, baby. I've been homeless Kumail Nanjiani. Thank you so much.